Hi guys, it's Sherry and welcome to the Eyes Have It. You haven't seen me in a while and that's because I've had the double whammy of bronchitis and pneumonia for the past 11 days. <clears throat> so, I'm just, uh, this is the first day I've had makeup on in 11 days. Uh, this is going to be the first day I'm leaving the house to go anywhere other than to walk the dog. So, it's been a long road. But I'm back and have a little Ulta haul for you. So let's get on with that. Okay, I went to the Ulta in the town about an hour from me to both pick up a couple of new things and also sort of restock on some things that I really love. One of the things I restocked is the um, Prime Time Eyelid Primer from Bare, Bare Minerals my favorite eyelid primer and um, I still had some but since I don't get over there all that often I thought I'd go ahead and pick up a package. I was looking at this marvelous Moxie <clears throat> lip pencil from Bare Minerals and in the store you know the fluorescent lights this color was beautiful. I get it home mm -hmm. and it is nothing. But anyhow the color is pumped and it doesn't even like in the store it looked like this kind of cool peachy color and in real life it doesn't even show up on my lips so I was pretty bummed by that then I decided I was going to try the um, the new benefit push-up liner their real push-up liner I am NOT a liner pro I am a pencil girl as I said in one of my last videos I've been using eyeliner pencils as my eyeliner for most of my life. I really never did learn to use liquid eyeliners and gel eyeliners and all that. But I was very curious about this, so I thought I would give it a try. And it is definitely an unusual little product. It's got a kind of a cool rubbery tip, and when you twist the bottom, the product comes out through there. And as you press on it, the theory is that it will um, keep, you know, the liner in a straight line for you. It's especially good, they say, for cat eyes. It's not something I do a lot. But I have struggled with it. I um, haven't used it much yet because I've been sick. But I did put it on today, and then I had to um, take most of what I put on back off. Uh, I got a free gift while I was there, this Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss from Bare Minerals. And the color of this one is Daredevil. It's a really, really pretty color, so I was glad that's what I ended up with. Purpley color. In fact, I'm wearing it today. And then sort of my big purchase was the, whoops, the Lorac Pro Palette, 2 Palette. And it comes with a, a Lorac um, behind the scenes eye primer, and I actually do really like their eye primer as well. I went over to the display in the store, and you know, I swatched some colors, and you know, I went back and forth, and uh, I've, I ended up, you know, going with it. I haven't had here again a whole lot of chance to use it. I am wearing it today. So here it is, whereas the original Lorac Pro palette was black, this one is gray. I really love the size of it. It's so nice and petite. It has a nice little mirror there. And then it has a full row of mattes and a full row of shimmers. So basically what I ended up with, I do have um, beige in the inner corner. I have nectar on part of the lid. I have plum in the outer third. I have the cool gray in my crease and then I added a little bit of Cupcake by Makeup Geek to my lid just kind of I didn't feel like I was getting the color from Nectar that I wanted so I bumped it up with some Cupcake but um, they're very very pretty they're uh, very soft um, nice soft colors and as you can see very pigmented I took a break from the video to go out to lunch with a friend. My battery was dying on the camera anyway. And when I got back, I had two things from QVC show up in my mailbox. So I thought I would go ahead and 
I just add them on to the end of this Ulta haul. The first one is a product that I had not heard of before. I think it's relatively new. It's called the Mali Ultimate Performance Brightener and Hydrator. And you get two of them. Now, what I had understood, and obviously not correctly, but what I had understood when I was watching the program on TV is that it comes in two colors and that you got a set of two, the lighter and the darker. But both of mine say lighter. So I guess I misunderstood that, that whatever you order, you, do, you get two of, which, you know, I guess is okay. So in this little flat tube type of thing. And it's got a doe foot applicator. And it's a very moisturizing, feels very moisturizing. So I could see, you know, maybe doing this under the eyes or on top of the cheekbones or in some of the areas, you know, where uh, my face settles in more into lines to avoid some shadows. So you get two of these. <clears throat> And as I said, it only comes in two colors, lighter, I think it's called lighter and darker. And this one on the side of the box says lighter. And then the other thing, you know, you've heard me talk about my brows. I just, you know, I don't have many. So for many, many years, I've been a person who penciled my brows because I didn't really feel like I had much other option. So, you know, this year I've been looking at some other options. I so when I saw Mally on QVC that night, I saw her talking about this product, which I believe is also new. This is called the Ultimate Performance Dream Brow. And it is a combination of a little pot of cream, which you can get in various colors. And this one is in taupe. I could see where that might work for me. And then the brush is a two-sided thing. The one end is your regular kind of brow brush. And then the other end is a spoolie. And it's a nice little dense spoolie. So I'm going to be very interested in trying this and seeing whether this by itself or this with something else can give me a more natural look with my brows than, um, than what I'm doing now, which is using an eyebrow pencil and then using the spoolie to you know, sort of soften it out. So I will be reporting back on those two products. I will be reviewing them at some time, either together or separately. And then the last thing I didn't get to do before the battery ran out um, would, was to swatch all the colors from the Lorac Pro 2. I wanted to do that because I know how interested I was in knowing what kind of colors there were, what kind of payoff there was. So I am going to do the top row first, which is the mattes. Buff. Light brown. Cool gray. Nectar. Plum, navy, charcoal, and black. Those are all mattes. And then on the, the shimmery side, we start with snow, beige. Excuse my dog, she's having a time of herself with a squeaky toy. Rose or Rosé, I'm not sure which. It's a really pretty color too. Mocha. Chrome. Silver. Jade. And Cocoa. Especially the darker colors, they are really, really deep. Okay, so there's matte and shimmer. All right, that is all for now. Hopefully, once I'm fully recovered, which should be very soon, 
I can get up and rolling and making regular videos again. Until that time, hope you're having a great summer. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.